Kan Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakadash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Milstar, and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth in sincerity. So, I'm just outside and just, uh, I think I'm going to do the Chant to Summer Days breakdowns while I'm walking. <coughs> This is my uh, the spot where it's all going down, you know. It's moving in nature, man. Easy your mind. But I want to jump into. Um, I actually want to jump into the book of Psalms, chapter thirty-seven, and uh, it's quite a long psalm, so I'm not going to get some precepts, you know, made. Roughly paraphrase certain scriptures which come into my mind. So, uh, here at the start, this will be edifying, man. So, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 37. This is again the Psalm of David. You know, we gotta stay occupied in prayers, prayers for protection, uh, prayers for. Uh, Praise for faith, praise for strength, praise for the cleansing of our sins, for our faults, and of course the curses towards the enemies of the cross, against these devils, against those that seek to cause you to stumble, and that are hindering you in the ministry that you want to do to the Most High, at the best of your ability. So this is in the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So the Bible is explaining you, don't get moved by the prosperity of those that are walking in, in wickedness. You know, because the earth is giving into the hemp of the wicked. You're going to see things by which you might think, uh, why is the Lord allowing the wicked to do what they do? Why are they prospering? Especially if you just come into this truth. You know, it's the same mind which also was in, uh, in ASAP when he spoke about it in... Uh, Psalm 73, you know, but when the Lord is going to open up unto you, He's going to allow you to enter into His, his sanctuary. You will understand that the Lord put them in slippery places. So these people think they're, they think they're in a good case, but they don't understand the end of this movie, how the judgment is going to be, you know. So don't get moved by the prosperity of, of those that are walking contrary unto the scriptures man it says for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and be there as a green herb and that's their portion man you always have to remember what is going to happen with them man you know it says trust in Yahweh and do good so shalt thou dwell in the land and fairly thou shalt be fed yeah, because it is the most high who is bringing these curses upon the land on these people these plagues and it's only Yahweh Bashim Yashai who can protect you and sustain you in those days to come. It says, For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Yeah, they, they're going to wither away, man. You know, the, the remembrance of the wicked shall be as a, as a dream which is forgotten, man. It says, Trust trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and fairly thou shalt be, shall be fed. Yeah, because the Lord is not going to allow the righteous to famish, man. Only, only righteousness delivered out of, out of tribulation and death. All those riches that these people have, through, through wicked, deceitful ways, you know, dishonest gain, it's not going to deliver them from the judgment that the Most High is already bringing out upon this earth. It's not going to deliver them from Jacob's trouble, you know, from the moment when the Lord is going to uh, cause these, these nuclear missiles to be shut. It says, delight thyself also in the Lord Jehovah, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And that's why the scripture says, uh, he who has his heart or his eyes a stayed upon the Lord, he shall never fail, man. You know, you shall never fail, you shall never be moved. The Lord is going to sustain you because you you, you put the most high on top priority, man, above, above your own life, above the life of your wife, of your children, if you got them. You put the most high above everything. You know, and that's, that's, the, that's the key thing in this ministry, man. 
you put the most thai above everything it says commit thy way unto the lord jehovah trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass yeah hey the script says trust in the lord in all thy goings man lean not upon thy own understanding and he he will he will direct thy path man you know and that is what we throughout the whole moment of entering into this truth and moving towards the time of of judgment are being groomed into to to lean upon the lord you know to guide to be guided by the spirit not to be self-willed or to think that you know it better than the most high the spirit needs to guide and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday it says rest in the lord jehovah and wait patiently for him yeah man patience is a key thing to pray for man patience is virtue we gotta we gotta wait and abide fight until the lord will execute that which we're longing after that which we're hoping for you know and that takes faith you know we we hope for something which a lot of people don't believe in you know and these entities will jump on them cause you to doubt what they want you to doubt you know they seek to hinder you but we got the most high man so don't doubt pray that the heavenly father will destroy those entities that are fighting against you man it says fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass yeah man let it not in the dutch we say let it not aan je let it not nibble or or eat on you let it not vex you when you see when you see the wicked prosper but understand that the most high place them in slippery places man the most high is merely magnifying or boosting the pride of thinking that they're going to escape and that the lord the lord the lord will not at all acquit the ways of the wicked man always understand it says cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself in any wise to do evil because many of our people that lose faith and lose lose hope and lose patience they might get into a spirit like man if god exists why is this all taking place why do we need to wait what type of god causes you to go through all these things which we go through man and you know a person might get into a spirit by thinking like the hell with this man you know especially in the times to come great tribulation is coming and these are all trials all testers of your faith and the lord is continually watching you man how are you going to react how are you going to maintain yourself how are you going to keep your integrity the lord is continually watching you through the spirit of of these these angels man of these you know they they behold everything that you do it says for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the lord they shall inherit the earth you see there's continually a balance upon this earth man as the lord is as the lord is boosting and magnifying these creatures they will find out how they will find out how how we've been sowing in tears and righteousness sake upon this earth and that's the mind of many people man i believe it speaks about it in uh, wisdom of solomon 3 you know the the heart of the unwise they think that we will be consumed in the destruction or be taken up in misery while the lord the lord is just proving and deeming us worthy for the times to come you know and they will not be found worthy they will be consumed in the in the plagues that are going to be unleashed upon them man eh? and we going to see it with our own eyes man all your enemies like how <coughs> how it speaks about it in uh in uh I say a 41 you know ye shall ye shall seek for those that are in sent against thee and ye shall not find them because the lord the lord is going to plague them man there might even be people upon this earth who might think watch and listen to your videos with a mocking and a demonic evil uh, mindset contrary on to what we believe and what we do with a mind like oh and when it's time we go we go and get our click we going to do this we going to do that you ain't going to do shit man you know you ain't going to do shit so it says for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be 
Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and, shall, and it shall not be. Yeah, you, you go, they're going to be consumed, man. The Lord, the Lord is going to root out the, the tabernacle of the wicked, man. He's, go, he's going to turn off the light of these, of these evildoers, man. It says, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace, man. Yeah, because they've been sowing in the spirit, man. That's, that's how the righteous power operates, man. The Lord is going, to receive, is going to reward everybody according to his sowing upon this earth, man. And you got to understand, the Lord knows exactly what you do, man. Don't get moved by what people think, why people feel their opinion or their emotions about you. None of that is important. Move and do the will of the Heavenly Father, dedicated, diligently, you know, diligently, and uh, let's see, okay. do the will of the Most High, dedicated and diligently, you know, and give yourself over unto the Most High, man. That is what counts, man. Let the Most High be the one who decides how and what happens, man. So, the wicked plotted against the just. I ganash it upon him with his teeth. Yeah, man, and I made a video. I made a video where I actually was going in onto how you have uh, Aaron Russo warning, warning the people about how uh, Rockefeller approached him and how he was actually recruited to be partaker of the, the pushing of that program, man. Eh? You know? So there are many, many, many people many that may not even be in this truth, in this, in this ministry of us, that see, that got approached, that got recruited, that have the intel from the inside, and that are warning the people, you know? When you, when you see all these things, and when you, when you hear about how the end goal is to, to push it to a way where they want to have the people chipped, microchipped, and that that's going to be the end goal, end goal in order to completely control the people. You're not just going to dismiss or deny the importance of this thing, man. You go and look with a mindset like, okay, where does this piece, this instrument, this device fit in the fulfillment of the prophecy, man? You, you can't be in a mindset of thinking like, nah, man, the Lord ain't going to mention this, this, this humongous, this humongous, uh, uh, how should I make it, man? Change maker in all that is taking place in the globe, man. You know? It says, The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seed that his day is come. That's why the scripture says, The devil shall come down with great wrath upon the people. And they know that their time is, they have a short time. You know? But as they, as they think they're going to seal the deal, as they think they're going to fill their belly, the Lord is going to rain all fire and brimstone upon them man it says the lord shall laugh at him for he see that his day is come the wicked have drawn out the swords and have bent their bows to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of unbright conversation hey persecution man you know the main top the top the enemy of the state are the israelites that know that they're the israelites man they're coming after us man and the way how they come after you you know, you're going to have an extreme form of censorship. They're going to use the propaganda to make it seem as if we're the trouble, we're the problem. While we merely expose what is taking place and are healing our people out of, the, out of the snares, out of the trickery of these devils, man. You know, the same thing as you already can see concerning uh, Chicago. You know, Chirac and how, they, how they're going to change the laws in... Uh, the first January 2023, how they make it seem as if it is the crime that is actually causing the country to be destroyed, you know. So the blame game, the blame game is is, is the spirit of uh, the spirit of the accuser that is heavy upon these Edomites, man, and they're gonna accuse you, you know, you as being an Israelite will be accused for for all that is taking place, man, you know, as the song from. Uh, from Iwi Banton says, Rastaman rise, you know, they're gonna blame you for the things that we have not done, you know. They're responsible for, for all the calamities, for all the madness that is that is about to come upon the man. It says, 
this sword shall enter and that's why it says also the, to the slay the such as be upright in conversation because the only thing that we're doing right now is we're teaching our people out of the bible to walk in the ways of the heavenly father and yet they seek to to remove your content but yet they allowing they're allowing madness like a Lil Nas X doing a whole lap dance onto Satan. But a video where you warn and you protect the people about the dangers, the trickery that is being used against the people, that is being deemed as a violation of the community guidelines of the YouTube man. So it says, the sword shall enter into their own heart and their bow shall be broken. Yeah, man. This is, this is a prime example of how they dig pits and their own snares, their own devices is going to cause them to be destroyed, man. You know? Because the Heavenly Father already knows about these elites, how they operate, man. This, the scripture says the, the elect shall not be deceived, man. You know, so only, only the people that are not in the Lord, they're going to be deceived, man. It says their sword shall enter into their own heart and the bow shall be broken a little that a righteous man had is better than the riches of many wicked you see so don't get moved by the amount of uh, riches that people have man modern day christianity is teaching people that prosperity is godliness but it is not you know it's better to be content with a little bit and walking in righteousness instead of having great riches and being in revenue, you know, having, having, having all type of trouble and all type of things by which you continually have to watch over your back because people want to attack, you know. It says, For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholded the righteous. Yeah, man. When it speaks about the arms, the arms is talking about the power of the wicked is going to be destroyed. They will be taken out. But the Lord will uphold the righteous, man. The ones that do believe in the Most High. The ones that will cleave unto the Lord. No matter how, no matter how difficult it will get, man. It says, The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Yeah, man, because, you know, the Beatitudes, man, we... we we the, we the peacemakers, you know, we are the, the ones that are extending mercy towards our people. The compassion to the Heavenly Father by being used as those, as those, as those vessels, man. You know, the healing and the builders of the tabernacle of, of, of King David, man. You know, and for that, there's a beautiful reward. You know, don't, don't think that the Lord is bringing you in and that you just labor for nothing. You know, you being here, you believing and you having that zeal is with a reason. This is all from above, you know. So keep doing what you got to do for the Lord, man. It says, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, which is in the time of tribulation. And this, as in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Yeah, because the Lord will sustain his, his servants, man. You know, his servants shall eat, but they shall be hungry. His servants shall drink. But these evildoers that are walking contrary unto the Most High's commandments, they shall be thirsty, man. They go, they go, they go half of vexation of spirit as we will be rejoicing in Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai. You know, it says, But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord Yahweh be as the fat of a lamb. They shall, they shall consume into smoke shall they consume away. The Lord's going to burn them up, man. And there are many ways of consuming you, man. By the way of starvation, famine. The Lord can consume you by the weapon, by the sword. The Lord can put the spirit on animals to devour you, Jezebel you. The Heavenly Father has many ways, many ways to put you to death, man. You know? It says, but the wicked, um, 21, the wicked borrow it, and pay it not again, but the righteous she would mercy and give it. Yeah, that's that you you being you being generous, man. A generous spirit is going to be rewarded, man. As in as in a person that is actually thirsty, you're giving a person water to drink, 
the Lord is going to sustain you with water, man. You see, so that's why it is important also to be charitable, you know, caring, you know. You, you, you want to give, man, and you give with a cheerful mind. You want to help, you want to, you want to lift the brother up or a sister up, you want to exhort, you want to, you know, you want to bring out the best of the brother, man, of a sister, you know, sisters that also can help out, being a help, causing for a certain place or fixing food or, or fixing a garment or whatever way a brother or a sister might even help in the ministry, man. Everybody has a beautiful role. Everybody is doing whatever he or she can do. You know, it says, uh, For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall, shall, shall be cut off. Yeah, man. You know, we're just talking about how your mindset is in this ministry as well, man. You enter into it. You give yourself over onto it, you know, and your your input is what you will get back from the Lord, man. You know, it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and the delight in his way. Hey, and that's what we pray for. You know, your, your steps are continually ordered by the word of the Lord. We pray that the Heavenly Father will guide us by his Holy Spirit. You know, we walk by faith and not by sight. All these things are being exercised right now. You're being trained. You go to things. You see certain things in your dream. The Lord is continually testing you, trying you. What is it that you're going to do? Are you going to call upon the Lord? Or are you going to think like, man, I can do this by myself? What is actually taking place is a training, continually training certain obstacles. And the Lord is looking how you're going to react, you know? And you will find out when you call upon the name of the Lord, you either will be protected by the angels or the Lord will bestow strength, power, divine power upon you to do things to fight against the enemy or to avoid the destruction which the enemy wants to bring upon you. So it shows you that the Lord, the Lord, only through the Lord you can conquer the enemy. Not by yourself, not by thinking, I can do this, you know? Certain ways you might just be in a fight, but you also understand that the the Lord is continually with you, man. As you can go into a fight with confidence, you think about the Lord. You know, you ask the Lord to help you when you go into battle. And you will find out like, man, it's not you who is fighting, but the Lord who is fighting for you. You know, it says, Though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hands. Yeah, man. You know, just man fall at seven times, you will slip. But the Lord is not going to allow you to be consumed or utterly perishing. That's not the will of the Most High, man. You know, no matter how difficult or how hard the temptation might look, the Lord is not going to allow you to be consumed. And that is if your mind and your, your walk is truly about the will of the Lord. You know, none of us is, is without any fault or without any mistake in this truth but you're not you're not walking in a way of not fearing that the heavenly father will punish you for the wrongs that you commit you're striving to walk at the best of your ability in the way of the most high and you're fighting you're battling against those demons man it says i have been young and now am i old yet have i not seen the righteous forsaken nor a seed begging begging bread yeah, because the Lord will not forsake the righteous, man. The Lord is not going to cause the righteous to be confound those that believe in the Lord. If the Lord would do that, it would lose, it would, it would cause him to lose credibility, man. And that is the last thing that the Lord, that the Lord, the Lord, uh, the Lord demands respect, man. You know, and the, the, the respect will be upheld if a person is truly striving to do the will of the Lord. And that that person will receive protection and mercy, man. If that person is truly striving, giving his all, you know, sacrificing and doing it all, but the Lord will be like, nah, you know? How would it make it seem towards the evildoers who have been watching and who have been attacking and destroying and doing all type of things, all type of evil, onto the righteous man or righteous woman who was striving to walk in that way? How would they look towards the Heavenly Father, man? 
you know so the most high the most high is not going to he's not going to defile should i say his holy name you know he's gonna uphold his holy name his majestic uh, uh her name man eh? it says he is ever merciful and landed and his seed is blessed it says it says the part the part from the evil and do the good and dwell forevermore you see again it's talking about the righteous instructions and either way if they don't take heed and walk in that way hey this the the walk is like the walk which people choose are the that are going along with the instructions of the ways of the world man you see and that's why only a small remnant is going to make it man you know you're going to see masses of these people being consumed man you know and it's just the will how the most high wants it to be man it's not that you can change it there's no such thing as modern day christianity in which you want to get into a spirit like we have to pray that the world will not be here <coughs> none of that is going to change the outcome of what the most high is doing for the lord love a judgment and forsake another saints the lord will not forsake his saints man because he has care for the elects who are the saints the ones who the most time made a covenant with you know which went from abraham to isaac to jacob man the jacob descendants they are preserved forever but the seed of the wicked starting with those are the edomites shall be cut off yeah man as they try to cause us to be cut off forever the lord is going to bring it back upon their own plate man it says the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever we go and get the kingdom man we go and get the kingdom and nobody's going to get it afterwards man because we're going to rule forever 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 ever forever ever we're going to rule forever man the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment you see this is what we continually declare man every time when we speak everything that we do is in line with the wisdom of the most high you know and we declaring the judgment the punishment that is coming for the people who are not listening for the for the for the heathens you know towards our people if they don't take heed if they don't repent we tell them what's going to happen and there's no sweeter way of telling you you will be consumed the lord will unleash the plagues you got to think back about what the most high did unto egypt prepare yourself for things which is even going to you know which is even going to exalt all those plagues which the lord brought upon upon egypt man it says the law of the most high is in his heart none of his steps shall slide you see and the law is still in effect man the lord will always be in effect those who say that you don't have to keep the commandments are rebelling and walking actually in lawlessness man you know the heavenly father gave no one license to sin it says the wicked watch it the righteous and seek it to slay him and there's the wicked continually having a close eye upon us man trying to trying to follow your steps trying to see what you do you know but understand this man as these roaches are looking at your steps the most tires watching their steps you know so don't worry about that it says the lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged you see so the lord the lord will take action against anyone man no matter how much power they think they got no matter how how big they think of themselves none of that counts against the most high against the grand against your maker man it says wait on the lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off thou shalt see it so patience man you know we going to see the downfall of the wicked and we going to see the establishment of the righteous man but the key thing in this ministry is patience man and patience goes hand in hand with long suffering man it says i have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay a uh, bay tree which is the prosperity man you know the evil that people do the uprising the way how alexander cut the uh, went over swift as a leopard conquering and destroying you know but yet what happened with him he got destroyed he got taken down the same thing is going to happen with america with these edomites with these proud uh, uh devils over here in the netherlands they have been boasting magnifying enriching themselves in the evil manner but their downfall is going to be it's going to be a heavy downfall man 
the scripture says pride pride goes before destruction man the pride and the arrogance is going to be the downfall man and they cannot even see it because pride pride is blinding people man it says yet he passed away and lo he was not yea i sought him but could not be he could not be found yeah man you you won't look for the devil but the devil will not be will not be there man especially those elites man those elites are going to run they're going to run and hide in the deep underground luxury bunkers and we're going to look we're going we're going we're going to hunt for them man yeah what right, i said that we have that fault man because the lord is going to turn those fishes into hunters man these people are going to flee and run into their luxury bunkers but we're going to snatch them out of their out of their out of the caves man it says yet he passed away and lo he was not yea i sought him but he could not be found mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace and who are those perfect men that's talking about the elect man they're walking in the perfection of the most high and through psalms 32 blessed is the man unto whom the lord imputed not iniquity you know so by that way they they're truly the the virgins belonging unto the most high who are perfect man it says but the transgressor shall be destroyed together the end of the wicked shall, shall be cut off this this is what's coming for them man and we can see it but they can't but the salvation of the righteous is of the lord he is their strength in a time of trouble and the lord shall help them and deliver them he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him you see the trust the faith and works the abiding in the heavenly father no matter how difficult it will get man this will this will all resolve in conquering the enemy man and we will conquer the enemy through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai you know so with that I'm gonna say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Shalom